Hey guys, going? Um, bit of a tutorial. I was asked by the person whose name will appear below, because I can't remember off the top of my head while I'm recording this, about how to actually install Los Angeles Mod on a computer running with Emergency 4. I'm running Windows 7. It, From memory, I think Windows XP and up can run the game and Los Angeles Mod, but the mod is very, very resource intensive. In other words, you need a good lot of RAM and a good graphics card because it does seem to lag now and again so it's just a recommendation by me this computer I'm running is my laptop which runs a an older i7 and a GT 435M graphics card and 6 gig of RAM so it it plays as okay recording it's a bit of a different story though anyway one sec yep so what you have to do is just search for emer emergent I can't spell emergency planet let it load, and then go onto the Emergency Planet forum. I'll put the direct links in the description, but this is just a way to show you as well. So, they've had a few problems with their website lately. They've had a few people um, trying to DOS it, um, denial of service, and different other attacks to take the website down for some reason. Why would you take down a forum for emergency games and um, mods for Emergency 4? I don't know slash 911 responders, etc, etc. So there's a bit of a problem with their website, so it may take a bit. And I can't link... Um, in the... Um, the person actually made the um, the mod, actually... Um, yeah, bear with me, I'm pretty tired. Anyway, um, pretty much said that you have to download it off their website. So you go to Downloads. See what I mean? Being attacked, cause the site slow down, yada yada yada. And then you go to, you look for Los Angeles Mod 2.1 by Hopper. Just click that link. Now I must warn you, this file is pretty big. It's about 150 megabytes from memory, so it's a big file. I have pretty good internet and I have pretty decent downloads, so it's not too bad. But for someone who's using dial-up, I'd highly recommend not downloading this and maybe seeing if you can get a friend to download it for you who has um, ADSL. Just wait. As I said, it takes a while for it to load. Also, on this site, you can get a lot of other mods for the game as well. So, like below, you can change the sirens and supervisor. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to download the mod. So, it just tells you a bit about it. It pretty much it greatly improves the game so you just click download and then give it a sec and this is on chrome so it should pop down the bottom saying it's downloading oh sorry no there's another step after this I'm jumping ahead of myself here So your files are ready to be downloaded, but you must agree to the thing. It's saying pretty much, and I, I'm going to say the same thing here, that even though if you follow my tutorial to the fullest extent, I'm not guaranteeing that, you know, if if something goes wrong with your computer, I'm sorry, but it's not my fault. I'm just giving you a, a tutorial. It's still up to you to learn, uh, know about the risks and stuff like that, but I've had no problem with it, but some people have these on-off problems. As I said, it's 156.32 megabytes which is a pretty big file for a modification. So just click download. Just give it <coughs> Sorry about that. You're just going to give it a sec for it to in um, Anessa, 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 uh, initialize the download. Yeah, as I said, their website's been running slow a bit, and being from Australia, trying to get to America is not always the best. So it is down there. So this will take a couple of hours, but I've already downloaded this to make it easier in this tutorial, so I'll just cancel it. But for you, you keep downloading it. And I'll just minimize this. So, and I'll wait for you. Just pause the video here, and I'll wait for you to um, download the modification. 
by now you should have downloaded the modification and have the zip folder and should be in your downloads folder. For the for to make it easy for this tutorial, I've put it on the desktop. This file here, Los Angeles Mod 2.1 by Hopper.zip. And what you have to do is double click it. If you have Windows 7, I can't remember off the top of my head, I think Vista you can do the same and XP you can do the same with this. So I'll just make it smaller. Get out of that. And what you have to do is just select both of these and drag it onto your desktop or drag it into a folder. As I said, for this, f to make this tutorial easier, I've already done all that. The only thing I haven't done is, down is install it. So, as always, you should always read the README, which is pretty much saying what it said on the um, website. It's just saying about the things that they've added that you can't. You, this is only for personal use. Uh, distribute this mod on other sites and not allowed to edit this mod and distribute it. And the website's there. And the Los Angeles mods website's there, but it usually it has the um the manual, but that's pretty much it. So it'll usually say this. Make sure you if you do, just in case, have an antivirus. I use the Vast, AVG, Norton, Trent Micro, anything. Just make sure there's an antivirus running in the background, because even though they may seem legit, you might get the odd odd off case where you get the wrong one. So d basic install wizard next. Make sure you actually read all this and make sure that you actually agree to it. I've already agreed before, so I've already had a quick read of that, so I accept. Um, pretty much saying it's non for commercial use. Uh, just saying that it will change the map if you have Emergency 4 or 911 Responders Deluxe, which I don't have. I've only got the original one because that's the only one I was able to get. Uh, make sure the installation folder is right. If you have 911 Responders, it will go to WizardWorks. If it's... Um, Emergency 4, it will go to 16 tons entertainment slash emergency 4 from memory. Click next. And this is the thing. If you have the original, click this one. If you have the deluxe game, click that one. And this uses a really big bit of disk space. It uses 300 megs of um, space. So, um, install a desktop item. It doesn't work on Vista or 764 bit, so pretty much if you have a newer computer, it most probably won't work. And it will, f it will have a black screen for about 10 15 minutes when it loads, depending on your computer. Like mine, mine's about 5 10 minutes, but depending on how slow your system is, because it's got to load a lot of files in. Because if you think about it, there's 300 megabytes of files, and it has to load that into the, um, the computer, into the game before you actually play it. So, and it'll appear to flow, yeah and I don't use a desktop item. I'll show you how to actually load the game within the game. Sounds pretty trippy, but anyway. So click Next. Make sure it's all right, and then click Install. It's going to take a while, so I'd recommend go do something while you're waiting. Most probably don't don't use the computer, though, because it does slow it down, but... <laughs> excuse me. But just, just let it go. It, it'll be all right. So I'll meet you at the end of this bit. Well, welcome back. It should have installed by now, hopefully, if you haven't had any problems. If not, just, yeah, just you have to delete it from inside the game. But that, if you do get problems, send me a message and I'll just show you how to, I'll, I'll put another video up on how to reinstall it and whatnot. So thank you for completing and show the manual. I'll just show you what the manual looks like. I've already gone through it. As you can tell, because I've done a few videos on YouTube, if you've watched this already. Just let it load. So pretty much telling you about, you know, what it is, how it gets started, you know, how to play the game, the missions, what's at the station, what the buttons do. But the best thing with this game, just explore. Don't... I actually didn't read this. I didn't even know I had a manual because I think 2.1 didn't. I uh, 2.0 didn't. But anyway, so that means your game's installed. I'll just close this. So you just go. Uh, so you scroll down to your WizardWorks folder. Load up Emergency 4 as usual or 911 responders. So now we're in the game of um, 911 res first responders or Emergency 4, depending on which one it is. To load up the modification, to load up Los Angeles Mod, you just click your Modifications tab, and it should be Los Angeles Mod 2.1. I won't load it up, because it'll take forever, as I said, but you'll notice a difference when you hover over these tabs. They'll actually say different things. I forget, I think it remember says something along the lines of, um, 
Los Angeles mod in there, and when you actually load up the maps, the background will change as you've noticed in my videos. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to, shortly, because I'm back at university, that I'm going to do a Emergency 4 Let's Play from the first mission through through the um, Los Angeles mod as well. So stay tuned for that. I'll be after the um, Fire Department 3 series is finished, and there should be some more videos coming up later. So I thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.